Aspects of the history, exam, bedside investigations and bloods can tell us a lot of information on whether a patient is hypovolemic, euvolemic or hypervolemic. On a history, simple questions such as is the patient thirsty and how much they've been drinking over the last 24 hours can give us an idea of the fluid status. And then moving to exam, we can observe general signs such as confusion and a low consciousness or coughing and being short of breath. In the hands, we can do a perfusion check and check the capillary refill time and the peripheral temperature. And then in the face and neck, we can see signs such as sunken eyes, dry mucous membranes in the mouth and also a JVP check in the neck. We check the chest, auscultate the lungs for pulmonary edema, you can do a central capillary refill time and also check the skin turga, usually done over the sternum. And other signs on exam that can indicate the fluid status are sacral and peripheral leg edema. The bedside investigations we can do include the basic observations. In particular, hypovolemia can contribute to high heart rate, respiratory rate and a low blood pressure. Reviewing the fluid input and output chart is important. It gives us an accurate fluid balance for the last 24 hours. And also, if the patient has a catheter, check the urine colour because that can also tell you a lot of the fluid status for the patient. Finally, bloods are important as well. The use in these blood tests in particular can show signs of fluid status. The raised urea can be a sign of dehydration and sodium level as well can be deranged in hypovolemia or hypervolemia.